So you came to this video because one, you're either looking for a new circular saw or you heard about this all new Makita 7 and a quarter 36 volt circular saw and you wanted to check it out. FYI, there's the model number right there below for you. But either way, we're going to use it and abuse it. We're going to slice and dice, full review. We're going to talk about all the things that I do like and the one thing that I don't. Let's get it going. So I had a couple people ask me if I could bring this to the channel and thanks to Acme, not Makita, they sent it over for us to take a look at. I'll also put a link in the description below for this saw. Now here's the thing about Makita saws and I truly believe that they are like the Ferrari of saws. They are just so smooth operating, so comfortable. They are just really well built. Now with that said, there is an issue with this saw we'll talk about here in a little bit, but it is the 36 volt. You do have the battery indicator lights right up on top of this soft for both batteries. But just one of the things that they've done very well on this, check out the base plate and the guarding. So magnesium, but look at this. It's almost like a painted magnesium plate. And you can see those numbers so clearly on this saw. It's not just etched. It is really, really nice how they did that. I am just really happy with that. The other thing I really like about Makita saws, especially on this one, is their bevel capacity and their positive stop. So you can go up to 56 degrees on here, but it's so easy to do. It got that positive stop. All you have to do is flip that lever, decide where you want to go, and they give you the option of the most popular positive stops. You got 22 and a half degrees, you got the 45 degrees, and you can go up to the 56 degrees. And it's not one of those cheaper styles where, you know, you put that in and it'll click and then all of a sudden it'll go past it. I mean, when you put that in, when you dial it in, it stops. I mean, that is it. They are probably the best out there when it comes to their positive stops. I'll give you that, Makita. Now you also got 2 5 eighths of an inch of cutting capacity at 90 degrees, so that's pretty impressive itself. You can also put an edge guide on this, no surprise, every saw has them, but you only get the one out in the front, you don't get one in the back, and you got the onboard storage wrench. And you also got the blade stop right here for when you go to change that blade. Now the depth adjustment on here, simple to do, not the smoothest action I've ever felt on a saw, but it's not bad. You just lock it down, it's definitely not going anywhere. We'll do a... We will do a plunge cut in a treated 4x4 for you guys to check that out here in a bit. Just a different view for you guys. Oh, you also have the built-in tether notch on the back, so that's always a plus as well. Again, it is the 36 volt, so you will need two batteries. We're using two 5AH batteries to use and abuse, slice and dice. Now, this saw, uh, the blade is on the right side of it. A lot of people like that. Me, I'm right-handed, so I prefer my blade on the left-hand side. So I struggle a little bit with it, but that has nothing to do with Makita, it's just me, myself. Alright, let's start going to town. Let's check out the electronic brake first. They always do very good on electronic brakes. That thing starts right up and it stops immediately as soon as you let go of that trigger. You got 6,000 RPM on this saw. So let's try some pine here. I like butter. But here's the deal, you'll see that it starts doing something, and I will point this out towards the end of the video, but as far as it goes with power, man, it just, it just speeds through. It has a lot of power to this saw. And not to mention, you're only looking at about 10.5 pounds for this saw. Alright, let's give you guys a different angle here and see what it can do! And again, dealing with that one thing that's been driving me a little crazy since I've been using this saw, we'll talk about it. But as far as it goes with cutting the ripping of the pine, man, it just goes through like nada. It, it does a really good job. They are so smooth, these saws. There really is a lack of any vibration. You know, you would think with the circular saw, especially some of the other ones that I've used, you can definitely tell there's some rumble in them. I'm telling you, the, the Makita saw has really impressed me with just how smooth everything operates on them. Alright, let's do some plywood, then we'll go into the tree to 4x4, we'll see how well this thing holds up, but let's do this. Alright, let's start talking about this negative here, and I'm really going to show you this towards the end of the video, but my issue with this saw, it's really the only issue I have with this saw, is the blade guard. That shoe just does not come up, you can see it snags, and I have to lift up that guard, which I don't like doing all that much. Other saws, you just push up against the wood and it goes, I'm not sure what is going on with this, but... 
it just does not want to ride up over that piece of wood by itself. I'm actually going to show you this saw compared to the other Makita 36 volt and the rigid octane and we're going to compare them a little bit. Let's do a plunge cut first here in a treated 4x4 see how it does. Now, there's no issue with that. Definitely a lot of power. Let's rip down through this here a couple times. We'll show you what it can do power wise. The discharge on this, really nice. No clogging up, it shoots it out the side. I'll be honest, it is a little tough for me trying to get this camera angle and using the right-sided blade. I just like the left-sided blade because I'm right-handed, but check out that discharge, man. It is really, really nice. Let's do a couple different views for you. And you do got that LED light on the front, too. It's really nice and bright. Man, it's taken down that tree to 4x4. Nice deep cuts, too. You know, I was so excited about the power of this saw. I really wasn't paying attention and, wow, well, almost had a little incident. I mean, check this out. Oh, man, it's that pesky Makita gnome. I didn't even see him standing there. So happy that nothing happened. I mean, he just got out of the way right in time. Oh, I just cringe every time I look at this. All right, let's do a couple cross cuts here on this treat of 4x4. I'll let you hear what it sounds like, and then I'll show you the guard and the issue that I'm having. Now, do you see how that thing gets hung up on there? That's really frustrating. It, it really is, because this saw is almost near perfect. When I pull that trigger and I start to push, that guard should ride right up over that wood and you can see it does not do it. Even with the plywood and the pine, I struggled with it and struggled with it. Let me show you the 36 volt rear handle and how well it does. And even the, the rigid, I mean the rigid, no issue at all. It rides right up over that wood. Never had an issue with the circular saw before except for this one when it comes to that. And I'm just being honest with you guys. I mean, everything else is so well done on this saw, but I really have issues with that guard. Let me show you the 36 volt from Makita. And here it is. You've seen this many times on the channel. We've done a lot of tool duels with it. Let's see what it does when we try to go over that 4x4. Yep, same thing. It rides right over top of that tree to 4x4. Now, it is quite possible that I have one that just has issues. That happens all the time where you might not. I'm curious, have you used this saw yet? And if so, have you had that issue with the guard? If so, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Now, another nice thing that I do like what they did here, check out the top of this saw here. Even though this is on the right side, the saw blade, you do have somewhat of a view from the back top side if you are right-handed. They added that little viewing area, I guess you could call it to see that blade so that's pretty nice still me personally I like the left handed saw alright here are my final thoughts on the saw all it is really powerful The 36 volt no issue going down through that tree to 4x4 it'll hold up to any job site definitely a professional grade saw obviously it's Makita that's what you would expect once you get cutting on this thing it is extremely smooth even when you pull that trigger there is no vibration to this saw and it's pretty quiet as well it's just a well built saw absolutely love the positive stops on makita i think they always do a great job when it comes to those probably the best out there depth adjustment not the most smooth i've ever felt but not a big deal to me i love the feel of the saw i think it's extremely light and very comfortable ergonomically it's great i also like what they did to that magnesium and the numbers out on the front really stand out well with that black now as for that guard riding up over the wood i i I honestly believe it has to be a fluke. I've never had an issue with the Makita saws doing that before. And we just seen the 36 volt, it rides up real nice and smooth. So I'm almost curious if maybe there was something maybe wrong with this particular saw. 
But that being said, that's why I'm asking you to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you've used this saw, if you had the same issue or not. Other than that being a major downer for me, everything else was pretty much great. I loved it. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other tool reviews. Come say hi to us on the Instagram page. And with that, we will be back with more tool reviews soon.